the 27th of May 2020 during COVID-19 and um, I already had my morning coffee and I finished my morning reading which is, this is my preference, this is what I read every morning so it's, of course it's going to have a lot of ancient Greek uh, philosophy and ancient Greek literature so I read Lysias he was also one of the uh, writers that prepared the plea mitigation for Socrates before he was sentenced to death. Why We Sleep uh, is a really nice book because you get to understand a lot, a lot more about the importance of sleeping. I have to have poetry for some reason. I love poetry. I'm not a big fan of Emily uh, Dickinson but I'm going to finish it since I started it. I always have something that is in Swedish so I can uh, carry on practicing with my Swedish because my native, my first language was actually Swedish um, but sadly my mum passed away when I was only five so I don't have the opportunity to practice my Swedish uh, with anyone apart from my Swedish family which is not that often and I have the last one which is um, Epiphanes Andres de Nargian Eladan which is the great uh, men in ancient Greece and I think somewhere I've seen that there is also an ancient Greek woman sub four so I'm looking forward to get to that part and read about her so I'm gonna uh, take you with me today um, and just show you what I do in a day during COVID-19 as an international human rights lawyer and um, so I've done my morning reading which is good and I had my morning coffee um, I haven't yet done anything on my face I haven't really put my cream so I've got ready I'm just gonna get ready now for a quick uh, session so today's gonna be ab day so yesterday I was doing legs and today's gonna be ab so let's get our exercise rolling So there's one thing I actually do, I don't, I don't get connected with the world um, unless I have something really important that I need to sort out um, at least an hour after I woke up. So I'm trying always to, you know, give myself that time to read and connect and, you know, kind of look at the sky and, uh, and reflect. I do a lot of that, I do a lot of reflection <laughs> and um, so... I just got connected now. I just removed it from aeroplane mode. So I always have it in aeroplane mode. So I'm gonna go on YouTube and I always use this woman, her name is Boho Beautiful and that's where I do my exercise from, Boho Beautiful. So I'm gonna get that. Abs and core. Uh, six pack abs. Uh, which one shall we do? 10 minute abs workout. Yeah, let's do that. So just finished from the exercise, it was a very quick one, but it does hurt. <laughs> it was, it was a, I mean I did feel the pain, I did feel my abs doing what they had to. And now, time to get ready. So part of getting ready 
is to have food um, and especially now with, uh, with the pandemic I always like to get that out of the way you can see I haven't yet got bread myself so as soon as I finished the exercise I just came to the kitchen and did my prepping which was fairly quick and um, and then I realized I didn't really film anything here so I've got things prepped um, I'm just gonna make uh, let me show you so I've got chopped vegetables I've got my chicken I've got here sesame oil with uh, garlic ginger a bit of butter and I've already prepared my course low I'm just debating whether I should put more more mayo so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a Chinese stir fry and um, that is it I'm just gonna do this fairly quickly it's a quick and easy food but it still feels good to have you know your food ready before you start your work so I'm gonna have that ready I don't know if you can hear from the background it's a Swedish radio that I tend to listen while I'm cooking um, or some jazz music it's kind of my my moments of enjoying it while I'm cooking so I'm just gonna have the lunch ready and let me do that fairly quickly because there is no much into it put the vegetables put first the chicken cook it a bit and then you put the vegetables you put back the chicken and I've got here some oyster sauce for the um, for the chicken and some soy sauce and it will be marvelous
food is ready, it's time to wash this. So just had a shower, exfoliated as well. So let me show you what I'm going to wear today. So I don't really have any uh, remote trial, so I'm just going to go with something very casual. And then I'm going to wear this for um, the YouTube video that I'm filming today. So today I'm going to... So today I'm going to film my YouTube video about my take on the remote trials um, because I had one yesterday. For those that you do follow me on Instagram, you have seen a post and some Instagram stories. I explained a bit about the, uh, the pros and cons about remote trials. So mine was for telephone hearing, but I'm going to save everything that I've got to say in the video that I'm going to film today. So I'm just going to do my makeup, get ready, dress up. And for those that you would like to see what kind of makeup I do, I do have a video about my court makeup. Um, I'm thinking whether I should do that one, which is a bit heavier, or whether I should go for something lighter. But I may do actually that one because I'm going to film today. Uh, so I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to do the one that I filmed and I showed you. So if you want to check out my makeup, I'm going to link the video down below. my cup of tea and I'm currently in the office hot desk here with my husband hello <laughs> so do you want to show them the t-shirt that you're wearing <laughs> so Linsights it's the company um, it's a product of Lanix company that we have and that's what he's working on especially now with the coronavirus there is so much demand out there about digital anything that has to do with digital, but I'm not going to get into that because I don't have any knowledge. So this is my desk situation, my cup of tea. I've got there my uh, paperwork that I need to catch up. So all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to catch up with my emails as I said before, with this wonderful person. There is one thing that I forgot to mention to you is that um, in the morning we don't have breakfast. So Shamid started a keto diet, and which says that you don't have breakfast in the morning. And, you know, with, with the days, and as the days followed, I asked that and not having breakfast either. I'm not sure if it's a good it's a good thing, but that's part of the keto diet. Well, you're not having breakfast either. I'm not having breakfast either, no. That's not very good, thing. <laughs> you're not doing the keto. It's I'm not, not doing the it's keto. It's not very healthy, but just have the breakfast. Yeah. Why would you restrict it? And the food that I make, is, he, has to do, he has to be keto compliant. So I think I'm, I'm somehow doing a keto diet with you. I think during the night time I kind of break it and I'm going to have like a bit of bread and yesterday I had the leftover calzone that I made with that chicken that was really nice with some Indian tea which I love. Okay enough of talking to you because I can be taken away and I'm going to start working. Shamid woke up from half five in the morning. He's been working since then. <laughs> a bit of work which is good uh, warming up the chicken and I've also got some noodles leftovers which is perfect and cool slow lunch done nice and full and back to this reality bum bum reality 
Yeah. So I've catch up with my emails and I need to continue with, um, I need to prepare, I need to draft my report now. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, you know what I do after lunchtime? In order not to get back to work, I tend to procrastinate. Like, I'm going to wash the dishes, I'm going to broom a bit the house, and then next 10 minutes, like, I'm done, the house is clear. I'm like, okay, now it's time for me to start working again. So that's how I get the house nice and tidy, just by thinking or giving myself the illusion that I'm not, I'm not going to do any work. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do to get things rolling, so it's, it's all good. So I'm just going to have a nice cup of tea as well, after food, and then like a herbal tea, just for digestion. And yeah.
Welcome to the three voicemail service. You have five new voice messages. New voice messages. Message from... Yes! <laughs> I am so so happy. So I had this case which was for the Crown Court and um, so I was preparing so yesterday so I, I got last minute instructions about a telephone hearing for one of my cases at the Crown Court which was GBH grievous bodily harm without intent section 20 of the Defence Against the Person Act. Um, so, you know, I've taken this case very seriously, as I do with all of the cases, but when it deals with the Crown Court matter, you want just to make sure that I had a telephone, I had a conference with my client, that was before COVID-19, and it was like a four hours conference, taking thorough instructions, making sure we're going through all the witness statements, and I just had a call from my clerk saying that, oh, do you know you've got a telephone hearing tomorrow for, with, the inner Crown, with inner London Crown Court? I was like, yes, but why is it listed for? Because I was supposed to have the trial for July. Spoken to my solicitor now, and I filed before two two defence statements. So one was the initial one, and I filed an attendum, um, attendum a defence statement, uh, speaking about a number of issues because the the alleged offence was GBH, as I said, but the victim said that it was a homophobic attack, which it wasn't the case at all by the attendant uh, defence statement and tomorrow we just they just going to officially drop the case against my client and I'm very happy for him uh, because he didn't do it it was just him being at the wrong place wrong time and it just feels good because I, I believed in my client I am I was confident that he didn't do it and I wanted to fight to, for what was just and I'm happy that this case is not going ahead so tomorrow I have my uh, a telephone hearing for officially the CP as a crown to give no evidence to the case. So I just realised that I haven't really finished this video and I just want to give you a quick update. I haven't been able really to film the video that I was telling you about so I've got here now my stand. Today it is Sunday the 30th of May 2020 and um, I just wanted to finish this video because I've got some very good news to share with you before I go and, and film the video which is all about how to conduct a remote hearing so if you if you are a lawyer then you may be interested to watch that video um so leave that for later on firstly for those that you do follow me on social media I have posted the brilliant news I want to share with you it is the fact that the International Criminal Court has officially included me in the list of uh, uh, assistant counsels and I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled because uh, it is a lengthy application that you have to complete. There is a process in place and I have been, you know, I've been accepted. <laughs> so I'm super, super happy. I am very, very pleased with the result and I'm very, very grateful. So I just want to let you know of that. I just want to show you as well. Um, <laughs> when I film YouTube videos, I'm just going to give you um, some news. I normally don't dress up completely, so you can see I'm still wearing my pyjamas. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. For those that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for being here. I love you loads. Take care. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.